So today I have a tutorial showing you this look right here. This is the look that I wore in my review of the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Nourishing Foundation. I got a lot of requests from people to do a tutorial on that look. It's fairly simple. All it really is your typical smoky eye, but it does have a pop of periwinkle in it, which I think is what made it kind of fun, and also the combination with this lip. I got so many questions on this lip color. Whenever I post a picture with it, whenever I'm wearing it in my Snapchat and stuff, people just ask me what is that lip color because honestly it's such a perfect lip color and I've been obsessed with it ever since I got it. It's from LA Girl. Let me get it. This one from LA Girl. It's their um, matte liquid lipsticks. Their copy matte flat finish pigment gloss. It's a long name. Um, but they're these, and this one is in the color Floor. I absolutely love it, and I've been loving it. It's just a nice color, like, for everyday use and neutral. Um, on the original video where I have this makeup look in the review video, I did just wear it on its own. I did kind of an ombre lip with it on this time around, so it looks just slightly different, but not too much. You can totally leave that out if you just like it by itself, and it does look really nice by itself also. And that's pretty much it. Oh, also, a lot of you have been asking me um, about my hair recently, <laughs> especially those of you who follow me on Snapchat. Um, you're asking about my hair because it's starting to look a lot more voluminous, and even right now it looks a little bit bigger than what I usually have it. So I'm going to put up a hair tutorial really soon on how I get these waves. Well, not really waves. They're pretty much just curls. This voluminous kind of hair situation that I have happening. So yeah, anyway, if you want to find out how I got this look, then of course just keep on watching. Alright guys, so as you can see when I is done, we're going to move on to the next. So I'm just priming my lid as always with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, just applying that evenly all over the lid from my brow down to my lashes. And then we're going to go in with Buttery. This is from the Artist Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Really any cream shade will work. Then taking a very warm brown. This one is Camel from Bobbi Brown. I use this pretty much always just because it's a perfect transition color and I love the amount of warmth it gives in the crease. And as you can tell, I'm buffing in circular motions on the outer V of my eye, working my way in towards the crease. I did go back in a couple of times and just kind of built up the intensity so you can build it up as much as you feel comfortable with. I personally love a really warm crease so that's exactly what I'm doing here. Then going in with Cole from the Artist Palette as well. Again, any black matte shadow will work for this. And I'm just taking that on the same blending brush and just really focusing that on the outer V of my eye. Again, it's all about building up. I don't like to apply too much too soon. So I'm going back and forth and really just focusing on making sure it's all well blended. Once I've built that up, I'm taking Unicorn from the palette as well. And this one is what gives this a kind of fun, funky feel to the smoky eye, almost like an ombre effect. So I'm taking this on a very small blending brush and just kind of going back and forth, really making sure to just blend that well in between the coal and also the cream eyeshadow that we had first put on. So just going back and forth, really building up the blue because you still want it to show without it being too sheer and just really making sure that everything is just melting together. Then taking any cream matte shadow, I'm just going in and retouching that inner corner just because I wanted it really bright. I am using Walk of Shame from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, so something similar to that, but again, any white or cream shadow will work. Then I'm going in with Inglot Gel Liner 77. This is the AMC gel liner. This is my favorite eyeliner ever. And I'm just first mapping out the bottom part of my wing with an angled brush. I kind of want to show you guys in this tutorial how I do my wing liner because I always still get asked how I do it. And to be honest, it's just hard to keep explaining it. So I just really hope that by me showing it repeatedly that you guys will kind of catch on or anybody else out there learn how to do wing liner. But as you can tell, I just kind of connect the tail of it down to my lashes and then just fill in the gap as you saw. For my face, I'm using my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and then after I primed, I'm going with my Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener in Light Bisque. I have been suffering from like allergies hardcore. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that I lost my voice and everything. So this is just take away some of the redness that I have going on underneath my eye. Then I'm going in with my foundations and I am mixing two, my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I believe I'm in the shade Buff Beige and I'm mixing it with a little bit of cashew from Estee Lauder Double Wear. Just because I am self tan right now and I know this looks really dark compared to the color that is on my face naturally right now, but I am self tan so that is why I'm just trying to 
color match it to the color that's going on on the rest of my body, not what's on my face. So I'm just taking that with my Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush and just making sure to really buff that in. Also, I did find that the combination of these two foundations was super bomb. Um, it lasted me a long time and I love the finish of it. It was a very nice satin finish, not too matte but just perfect to still look a little natural, finishy look, you know what I'm saying. Then for concealer, I am taking my Maybelline Master Conceal Pri uh, Primer, Master Conceal Concealer, and I think this is the shade Light. I will have it listed below though, just in case. And I'm just putting down the usual highlighted areas underneath my eyes, center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, around my nose, the edges of it, just cover up redness, and making sure to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. I've been loving the beauty blender for doing a uh, um, blending out my concealer lately and I just feel like it picks up any excess product but still makes it all just melt into your foundation very nicely without any harsh or visible lines. Then I'm going to do a little bake action. I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and just really packing that on with a dry beauty blender onto underneath my eyes and the center of my nose. Then as you can see my eyebrows are done and I'm just going to be blending away that baking. You guys can leave your bake on for about a minute to 10 minutes. It's really up to you. I leave my on for, eh, it just depends. Then to set the rest of my face, because I am oily and I don't want it to melt off or start looking too slick throughout the day, I am taking my Bobbi Brown Sheer Retouching Powder in Peach. Then to warm up my skin tone, I am using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just really making sure to go around the perimeter of my face. And then going in with some contour, I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Powder, I believe this is in Java, and just really making sure to hollow out those cheekbones just a little bit and also just around my hairline just to kind of receive my forehead a little bit as well. Then just making sure to retouch my nose contour with the same powder. Since I don't use my bronzer to contour, I love to use the powder specifically from Anastasia because it does look a little bit more gray tone and natural. And I'm also just taking the banana powder from the same contour kit and I'm just making sure to really brighten up that upper cheekbone area, center of my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and the center of my forehead as well, just for extra brightness. For a highlight and a glow, I am using my Balm Mary Luminizer and just taking that onto a fan brush, making sure to hit the cupid's bow onto the center of my chin and high points of my cheek and center of, or the sides of my forehead, just above my eyebrows. So yeah, you can call this strobing if you wanted to, but you guys kind of already know my opinion from my strobing video where I talked about it. And uh, yeah, no, I won't ever kick my contour. That's just how it's going to go. Don't know what happened to my lighting here. I know I look super orange, but I don't know what light was bouncing off my camera. I am using my Milani Cosmetics Baked Blush in Luminoso just because it paired really well with the lip color and the blue we had going on in the eye. And then to finish off the eyes, I am just using the Coal Shadow from the same Anastasia Artist palette, making sure to blend that really tightly into my bottom lashes where I had placed the liner. I did line my waterline with the gel liner as well. Then I'm just taking a pencil brush and using Camel to buff it all out. And I didn't do this in the original video of my um, review where this look was worn, but I'm just popping a little bit of that unicorn shade onto the inner tear duct and just making it kind of fade and blend as I'm pushing it back towards my outer corner of the eye. Then using my same highlighter that I use for my face to highlight my brow bone and my inner tear duct as well. For lashes, I'm using Shanghai Style from Lily Lashes. These are mink lashes, and as you can see, it just adds a little extra pop. Now for the lips, I am using the LA, Gr LA Girl Fleur Matte Lip stick. It's hard to say it's such a long name, but I'm taking that onto a separate lip brush just because the applicator in the original packaging is a little stiff for my liking and I just wanted to get a really clean application of this. So I'm just taking this onto a lip brush that I've really been loving lately because I just get the perfect lining of my lips. So yeah, this is from Crown Brush. It's technically a concealer brush, but you know, it's okay. Dual purposes, right? Then I'm taking a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips in the shade Milkshake, just adding that onto the center of my lips and just really making sure to blend the edges out for a little bit of more ombre effect. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Guys, so that wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.